understand? You're both professionals, world-class, championship caliber, for it, and that's how I want you to conduct yourself in this ring. That said, Mr. Horn, Mr. Crawford, gentlemen, let's do this. And their little six-month-old baby, and she has come here, the family has come here to Vegas to see this. The great challenge to take on the simply sublime, excellently skilled Terrence Bud Crawford. We are underway for the world title fight. Crawford and Horn. Bird, Robert Bird, the referee, to break fighters on the inside as he does right now. It's his controlling distance. Every time Horn steps in, he gets out just far enough and he tries to counter just like there. Getting after it pretty early here. He lunges in just like that with his head. Oh, Horn comes in with a right hand that lands flush on Crawford. Hand and caught Crawford bagging out. Like comes there back again. in and there's Crawford that does check that right hand hook from that southpaw position. <laughs> pretty good looking opening round here and good exchange there as Crawford able to land. Horn had the big right hand. Crawford had a couple guys. good combinations, including the work to the belt. You trying to dart in? See that darting in shit? Got to stop this from darting in. Three-time fighter of the year, the current 2017 ESPN fighter of the year, also been honored by the Boxing Writers of America. Here's Horn coming in, trying to land the right hand. And there was that opportunity. You got to land that right hand. Tip the knight to a softball. Left hand to the body from Crawford. Bigger guy like, like Horn. Undoubtedly a bigger guy. Naturally the bigger man. There are holes and opportunities. He can't get greedy, though. Horn will fire back at him. There's Horn trying to get to work on that belt line on the inside. Robert Bird's going to earn his paycheck tonight, that's for sure, the referee. <laughs> trying to come with a left stop, uppercut stop, as Horn stop, came stop, forward. Stop, End of two in our world title fight. There's that body shot that last round from Bud Crawford. That was the signature punch of that second round. Absolutely, and those shots will take effect later on, later on in the fight. We're listening to Glenn Rushton instilling yet more confidence in Jeff Horn, telling him how well he did. Rushton's an interesting character. The story he's done on him, the book on Jeff Horn, major motion picture coming out, all that centering on the relationship of trainer to fighter. That time he came forward and Bud nailed him. Right hook. Charging in with a right hand, and now they exchange in the middle of the ring. Bud, for the aggressor that time, doubling up the jab, trying to come with a straight left hand. Horn fires back. That once he counters, Horn steps back with his hands down to try to reset. And he's following him out with combinations that time. Falls in and looks to sort of bully on the inside. There was another right hand from Horn that came in there. And what Crawford says is, do not mistake me with Manny Pacquiao. I am bigger, I am stronger, I am in my prime. Relationship between Deborah and her son and all that Bud Crawford overcame to arrive to this mountaintop of a career. It's three weeks yep. prior to his December title defense. Just falling forward that time. Defensive flaw. Crawford couldn't take advantage, but a left hand hits the mark. And now a pop jab. And a good left hand and a combination from the American. And Horn paid for all his mistakes, dropping his hands, moving out at distance, close distance, close range. Excellent round from Bud Crawford. And you see the swelling already over the right eye. You got some blood over the right eye. Get another look at it right here. Terrence following him out, fundamentally making mistakes. Dropping his hands as he's pulling away. And Terrence is smart enough to follow him and land that one-two. As the fight go on, fighters, fighters weaken. And those are your opportunities when you land shots that you were landing earlier. Guess what? They hurt a lot go, more. Let him go, let him go, Jeff. Let and if you look at his back, he's a welterweight. Right now. He'll be slow and steady. From the outside, he wants to stay right in front of him, blocking counter, blocking counters. Capitalize on all the mistakes Horn is doing. Horn is not even using his jab, guys, to get in. He's it's befuddled. The first problem. He, he's befuddled. He's being so thoroughly outboxed against Pacquiao. 
And with oh, this skill level free, punch, you're seeing with, with Bud Crawford, now you see why. Well, Bud Crawford don't want to be here. If he's there, he wants to be there. He shouldn't be on the ropes like that. Horn said, I'll test his soul. I think it's quite the opposite. I think that Crawford is testing Horn's soul. He's pushing him around. Mm -hmm. You can see that redness above the right eye as he sends back Horn. Crawford's in control here in round five, giving the best of the Aussie. Yeah, he enjoys hurting him. <laughs> End of story. Simply said Mark Kriegel. And right now, he is hurting Jeff Horn. Fight came up against the limits of his size and his age. Right now, Horn is coming up, at least against Crawford, the limits of his talent. Now, he's trying. I mean, he's giving his best, best foot forward. Rushton says, you just got to land a few shots. It's, it's a lot easier said than done, even on the inside. Good uppercut that time from Bud Crawford. The left hand landed. Good body shot as well. We're not spotted. Now he's going downstairs. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> Halfway through the title Come fight. Hell, guys. Hell. And Crawford in control. Can happen. Yes. They need that miracle. They need to find that magic that they found somehow late against Pacquiao. See, everything is all set up by the jab from Crawford. Lead left hand from Crawford. Goes with the left hand to the body as well. Yeah. And then as Horn stepped forward, another oh, left hand. All night long, now orthodox is Bud Crawford. There is the left hook, and this is where he can be most dangerous, Mark. That left hook is deadly. There it is as it backs up Jeff Horn. And now back to Southpaw. Occasionally, Crawford will lay on his, see him lay on that left side. Punching between punches, and a flush left hand, and here comes Bud on the attack. Half minutes to go in round eight. Can he finish him? Strafing shots to the head. Horn is hurt. Body shot lands mm. with the right hand as well. Oh, nearly floored him there on the bell of a dominating eighth round by Bond. With a round like that in evidence, if you're Glenn Rushton and you love your fighter, how long do you let this thing go on? We got caught with a left hand. Thrown off balance again. Remember round number nine, that was the round when Pacquiao nearly got rid of him as well. But Horn fought back, dominated the finish of that fight. Only takes one punch. He has been thoroughly dominated. He has been hurt. He has been outclassed. But all it takes is one go of it. Yeah, and he's still coming forward. Expecting his corner to at least factor that in. I don't think we're there yet. I, I mean, I guess you, but it's I, a consideration. I disagree. Big left hand, right hook, uppercut, sends him back. Another left hand and a knockdown score. Come to me. Come to 40 seconds to go here in round number nine. Let's see what Crawford does with it. Here he comes, backs him up with a left hand again. Horns in the corner, uppercut lands. Crawford on the attack. That's it. It's over. It's over. He is tough for anybody in the welterweight division. We have been blessed on ESPN to watch Vasily Lomachenko. You just saw Bud Crawford, who's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. They are both just awesome right now. Let's make it official. They are ready to party here in Vegas for the kid from the U.S. of A. The new undefeated WBO welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bull.